Hey guys, and welcome to the first in the series of third-person camera tutorials in Unity. We're going to be using a combination of Unity's mechanism system and uh, some camera scripts to create a really compelling third-person camera rig. Uh, it has a lot of features that are sort of inspired by uh, this tradition that was set by one of the very first 3D games using a uh, controller, which is Mario 64. And uh, this has got a lot of cool features in it. Uh, it works differently from how you'd expect, actually. Uh, Mario is sort of runs around the camera, he almost orbits it, which is sort of unintuitive when you first look at it, but that's what's happening. Uh, when he runs backwards and forwards, he can both face the camera and run away from the camera. And finally, uh, Mario can sort of do this pivoting action when the direction that you're moving is, is opposite to the camera direction. There's also several other features uh, involving the sort of free cam mode, which you can see down here, it's set as behind the back mode. This idea of this third person camera was extended into Zelda 64, uh, the games like Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, because they were actually, uh, Ocarina of Time was actually built on the same code base as Mario 64. So uh, that almost evolved into what you see here at Wind Waker, which I think is a really awesome camera rig. It's got a lot of different modes, and uh, those include this sort of behind the back mode here, where Link runs, as you can see, sort of in this orbiting fashion, similar to how Mario did. He can run towards the camera, and that's something that Mario couldn't do. So he can pivot and then keep running and keep leading the camera, which is a nice feature. There's several modes here. There's the first person mode where Link can look around. He can't run while he's in this mode, but he can definitely look around the world, which is useful. There's this idea of targeting, which uses um, a different animation set and always stays behind Link's back. So there's no more of that orbiting business. And there's also a free camera mode, which is nice because you can sort of rotate it around Link and he runs in relation to the direction that the camera's facing. And this has got a nice feature too of this sort of collision detection so it doesn't clip through the walls. So as you can see, as I rotate around the wall, the camera continues to look at Link and not clip through geometry. Doesn't always work great, but it's uh, way better than clipping through stuff. And this idea, of, um, this idea of not clipping through geometry also works if you manage to position Link uh, on the edge of something like there. So this is also doing that collision detection in the behind the back mode. So let's have a look at all these features in the code that we've implemented. This is the end product of the tutorials. Uh, we've got this sort of test room here where you can run around. We've got this orbiting behavior. And if you look on the scene view, you can see that the camera is sitting in space and the character is actually running around it, which is exactly the behavior we wanted. Um, you can run forwards, you can run and pivot and run towards the camera. And that's taking advantage of mechanim. There's the free camera mode, which you can rotate around the character. You can bump up close to them, get far away, and have the character run in relation. We've got this idea of collision detection against the wall. So if you zoom out and then do that, it's not quite as nice as the one in Zelda, but uh, it's not exactly professional programming behind it. <laughs> so it's about as good as we could do. Uh, there's this idea of targeting where the camera always stays behind the character, which is nice. Uh, we don't use a separate animation set here, but it gives the same idea. And instead of roll, we've implemented just a simple uh, jump animation. So we can jump if we need to get over some obstacles. So this just uh, is about it for the animations. We've got the pivoting idea, which is nice too. And we have pivoting from idle states as well. So that's it. Uh, let's get started with the first implementation of the camera and we'll build up to this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 